double wishbone suspension basic. Of the two dominant suspension models in use today, double wishbone is older, but not by much. It predates the MacPherson strut designed by a little more than a decade. Double wishbone designs got their name from the shape of their design, which rely on the shock absorber and coil springs, connecting both upper and lower control arms, with the lower arm connect to the steering knuckle and the upper arm attached to the frame of the vehicle. Today, double wishbone suspension is more commonly found on vehicles that have a body or frame contraction, while MacPherson struts are more commonly found on unibody designs. The Basics of MacPherson Strut While this strut design was named after the engineer who popularized it and refined it to its most recognizable form. The basic concept predates MacPherson's work as other designs using almost the same concept for a front end suspension had been marketed prior to Ford's first official MacPherson Strut model. The design is not a blind different from the double wishbone suspension with the strut bolted to the hub carrier and directly connect to the body of the vehicle. In the MacPherson design, the strut is part of the steering geometry, providing the axis of inclination in that design. The advantage of double wishbone. The double wishbone suspension has vertical upper and lower control arms, which boost the negative chamber. As a result, your vehicle has better stability on the road because the tires are touching the road more. Plus, your wheel alignments remain consistent as well as you, your steering. This will allow you to handle the car better as you are driving it, regardless of the stress that your vehicle is under. The struts of the McPherson suspension do a great job of keeping the vehicle flat on the road. They don't take up too much room either, allowing more compartment space for the passengers. Since the McPherson suspension has reduced unsprung weight, it makes the vehicle a lighter weight than the double wishbone suspension would make it. This lighter weight allows the vehicle to accelerate at faster speeds. Furthermore, you will be more comfortable driving this vehicle too. And if you are budget conscious, the Mepherson is manufactured inexpensively, which translates to a lower price for customers. These advantage double wishbone suspension system are double wishbone's complexity of design means more parts, and in turn, more parts that can fail. It also has greater independence meaning one part going bad can cause others to break before a fix is put in place. It is a much heavier suspension, adding more weight to the vehicle. Disadvantage of MacPherson strut suspension system are they are tall, so tall they often raise the profile of the vehicle and limit how low its right height can be set. This also move up the vehicle's center of gravity. As they show wear, they often transmit more noise through the body of the car than double wishbone designs. Their participation in the steering geometry can lead to trouble keeping solid contact with the rod on all four wheels during cornering. Torque steer is an issue at high speed in front wheel drive vehicles. Type of vehicle that use double wishbone suspension system are Honda Accord, Aston Martin DB7, Lancia Delta S4, and Mercedes-Benz. It is also popular on open-wheel race cars, such as Formula 1 or Indianapolis, where the control arms are clearly visible as they extend from the body to the wheel assembly. Type of vehicle that use MacPherson Strat suspension system are Datsun 240Z, Subaru Impreza WRX XTI, Toyota MR2, and commonly on our Malaysian car 
ลายโปรโตนวีรา